Last week, I did an unboxing of the Starfield Limited Edition controller, as well as the Limited Edition headset. You can find that video right here. Based upon your overwhelmingly positive response and a bunch of questions that I received, I decided to put together a full review based on those questions and more. We'll talk about the specs, we'll do a mic test, we'll see how well the noise canceling works. I'll also demonstrate both of the Easter eggs that you may or may not have heard of by now. Let's get to it. What's in the box? In this case, it's an Xbox wireless headset with a USB-C charging cable that's 14 inches long and light gray. System requirements. For use with Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and Windows 10 and 11 devices. On supported consoles, some voice chat features may require Xbox Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate, or Xbox Live Gold. Windows 10 and 11 use requires Bluetooth 4.2 or better, Xbox wireless adapter, or compatible USB-C cable, each sold separately. Also works with iOS and Android. Materials. The headband is made out of an inner steel metal band with foam cushioning. The ear cushions are oval in design with polyurethane leather and foam cushioning. Microphones. The mic design. It's a bendable boom with dual mics and illuminated LED when the mic is on. The speaker size is 40 millimeters. The speaker material is a paper composite diaphragm and a neodyme magnet. Speaker impedance, 32 ohms. Speaker response, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Controls, buttons. There's power, pair, mute, game chat audio balance dial on your left ear cup and volume dial on the right ear cup. Bluetooth, Bluetooth version 4.2. It supports HDP, HFP, HSP, and it has a codec of SBC. Battery, internal rechargeable lithium ion battery with up to 15 hours of battery life per charge. 30 minutes of charging provides about four hours of battery life and recharges to full battery life in about three hours when headset is not in use. Weight, 11 ounces or 312 grams. Virtual surround sound, supports spatial sound technologies like Windows Sonic, Dolby Atmos, and DTS headphone. This is the microphone test on the Xbox Limited Edition Starfield wireless headset. I just listened to myself on the playback. Overall, it sounds pretty good. If not, maybe a little metallic. Let's do another test real quick where I just make some noises in the background and see how these work. Now I'm gonna try two other tests as well. One, the squeaky chair. Because these are things that you're more likely going to encounter and not just a snappy person. And the yappy dog. All right, Charlie, go bark. Speak, Charlie, speak. The one time I actually want this dog to bark. Charlie, go get it. Charlie, go get her. I'll get him to bark eventually. Normally, I can't get this dog to shut up. <laughs> there he goes. And now I can't get him to shut up. So maybe the background noise cancellation is a little bit of a, a C- minus on these. The sound quality comes through the ear sets when I'm listening to music or YouTube or a game. And the quality of the mic itself are pretty good. Just, you know, if you got a barking dog or a creaking chair in the background, your friends are probably gonna hear that too. If you go into your settings, personalization, my background, and then down to dynamic backgrounds, pop up to Xbox, you'll see that I have the original Game Pass and Xbox 360 as my current options. I do not have the Starfield background. Once I sync the headset, it takes me actually backing out. It doesn't immediately display, but if I back out of the options, go up to Featured, Games, and Xbox, you can now see that the Starfield background is eligible. So this Easter egg is included with the headset as well. And there you have it, the Starfield background. I think it looks really cool. I know some people feel it's a little bit limited, but this is just an Easter egg, so I don't expect a lot from it. It is dynamic. There is motion to the lines. I find it very subtle, and so I like it. This next Easter egg has to deal with the startup and shutdown sounds that it makes compared to the original headset. So some of the frequently asked questions I received is, does it support Bluetooth? Yes. Can I connect it to my PC? As you saw in the video? Yes. Yes, you can. Can I connect it to my phone? Yes, you can connect it to your phone 
and connect it to the Xbox at the same time. So you can use your phone to either be in Discord, listen to music, do whatever else you'd want to do on your phone while you're actively doing something on your Xbox or PC as well. I'd also like to address the fact that the ear cuffs are not perfect circles. They are oval. So you can fit your ear entirely in this cuff. So while they may look like they're gonna rest on your ears, unless you have pretty big ears, and I've got a pretty big head, so I kind of know what I'm talking about, your ears can rest comfortably within these cuffs. And also quickly to point out, you can see that the microphone is currently illuminated when it's on, and when you mute it, it turns off. It also makes an audible noise to let you know that you've unmuted it and when you've actually muted it. I'm typically a pretty big stickler when it comes to reviewing product. I don't want to lead people astray or make you spend your hard-earned money on something that you're not going to like. But I'm hard-pressed to find anything wrong with this headset, other than the noise isolation. But other than that, I really can't find one thing that I really want to pick apart on this headset. I'm Rob, thanks for watching. And remember, if you found value from this video or enjoyed it, hit that like button and consider subscribing so that way you get notified when I release all of my Starfield content. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Or should I say, to the Starfield. Do you wax your head? No, but after shaving it for over 20 plus years, it does reach a nice high gloss.